Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. Tables allow a website designer to control the placement and positioning of objects and text in a web page. They're useful for holding information and graphics in small, organized boxes called cells. By placing your information and graphics into table cells, which can be of various dimensions, You'll begin to create web page layouts that are very similar to a desktop publishing program. Tables are made up of three basic elements, rows, columns, and cells. If you've ever worked with a spreadsheet or database program, you're already familiar with tables. Tables in HTML, however, differ from these types of tables in that they are much more involved to create and edit using the HTML code. Back in the days when you had to create HTML tables by using code, even simple tables were difficult to create. The code behind an HTML table is a mess of TR and TD tags that indicate table rows and table data cells. If you wanted to create a complex table with an uneven number of rows or columns, you really faced a challenge. However, FrontPage now makes tables easy to create and manipulate for everyone. Even new web designers can easily create and customize tables. There are four different ways you can create a table in front page. You can use the insert table button in the standard toolbar. You can click table in the menu bar, roll over insert, and then select table. You can use table drawing tools or you can take text that's already in your page and convert it into a table. So with all of these ways, there should be a way you feel comfortable with using. Let's take a look at using the Insert Table button first. To insert a table using the Insert Table button, simply click the Insert Table button, hold your mouse down, and drag over the white squares until enough of them are filled in with blue to show you the size of a table you want. Each square represents a row or column. When you have the proper number of rows and columns highlighted, release your mouse button. At first, each of the cells will have the same dimensions. You can always modify this later on. Now let's take a look at inserting a table using the Insert Table dialog box. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this table. To insert a table using the Insert Table dialog box, click Table in the menu bar, roll over Insert, and then click Table. In the Insert Table dialog box, set the number of rows and columns in the respective fields inside the size section. Then in the layout section, you can select an alignment for the table. You can select a float option, set the cell padding and cell spacing, and you can even specify a width and height for the table in pixels or in percent of the width of and height of the page. So let's say I want this table to be only 75% of the width of the page. You can then use the border section to apply a border or set it to zero to completely remove the border and you can set a background color in the background section. When you're finished, click OK. You may need to move the Insert Table dialog box a little to get to the OK or Cancel buttons. This is only if your screen resolution is smaller than 1024 by 768. You may be wondering why we just breezed right past settings such as cell padding and cell spacing and what these mean. But don't worry, we'll be covering these in more detail later in the lesson. Now let's go ahead and take a look at drawing a table using the drawing tools. 
If you're feeling creative, or if you feel like you just need to draw a few large cells, you can use the Tables toolbar to draw your own tables. To do this, click Table in the menu bar, and then click Draw Table. This will display the Tables toolbar. By default, the Draw Table button will already be selected, so now all you need to do is draw your table. The first thing you draw should be the outside border of the table as a whole. Then from there you can draw individual cells. Once you have all of your cells drawn, click the Draw Table button on the Tables toolbar to turn the feature off. Again, we'll discuss formatting and customizing our tables later in the lesson. Thank you! We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!